Okay, what I'm going to show you guys right now is how to construct a graph using KidZone's online graphing tool. I'm going to show you how to make a bar graph right now. I am going to graph the eight planets and how long it takes for them to rotate around the sun. Um, also known as like one orbital year for that planet. So first thing I'm going to do is choose bar graph. The bar graph is selected. Um, if I wanted to change, I could pick one of these. I don't want to make any of these other graphs right now. I want to stick with a bar graph. Um, the direction of my lines, I want them to be vertical. Uh, I could choose horizontal and it just simply changes the direction of the graph. Uh, I'm not comparing data, so I'm not going to be using the stacked option right now. Um, and then true 3D is just a different style. You can also change the 3D um, option down here and that just to change the way the bar looks. I'm going to stick with a rectangle right now. Uh, you can change your bar graph to look differently. You can have pattern bars. Um, grid lines, I can choose how many grid lines that I want. Uh, whatever, I'll change it to eight. And the legend, I can choose Actually, for this, I'm not going to need a legend, but just to show you, um, I'll put it on the right. So those are my settings that I want for right now. For data, uh, I just need to label everything. The title is what goes on top of the graph. So the graph title is going to be um, orbit time of the planets. X-axis, I'm going to choose the planet name. And then the Y is going to be uh, the number of days that it takes for it. Number of days um, to orbit sun. Okay, And then you can cite your source there. Uh, the data set, we're going to need eight. Uh, we don't count Pluto as a planet anymore. So uh, the group label, uh, I'm going to just say, why don't we just use days to orbit. So that's our legend. Uh, my bars are going to be green. So I need to label my planets. So Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The next thing I need to do is put my values in. I've actually already done this one, so I have all my values. I went and did my research. So for Mercury, it takes 88 days for it to orbit. Venus is 225. Oop, I transposed here. This should be Earth. This should be Mars. 365 days for Earth to orbit. Mars takes 687. Jupiter is 4,329. Saturn is 10,735. Uranus is 30,660 and Neptune is 60,225. Okay, so all these values here are how many days it takes on Earth um, for it to orbit. So all these are in Earth days. The minimum value I'll use zero for zero days. Maximum value, if I choose anything less than 60,225, my bar is going to shoot through the top of my graph, and I don't want that. So I have to choose a number greater than my largest number on my graph. So I'm going to actually choose, I don't know, choose 61,000 this time. So I chose 61,000. I've got all my data in here. My minimum value will be zero. That's where the bottom of my graph will start, and then the top of my graph will end at 61,000. I'm going to move on to labels now. You don't really need to do anything here, but um, for this particular bar graph. So I guess we'll leave it alone. You could change the fonts if you want. Um, that's up to you. Um, and then this is the preview of my graph. So I'm actually going to print and save and print to PDF because it's easier to see that way. So it should open up here. And now I have my data plotted on a graph. So you can see down on the x-axis, 
um, or the horizontal axis, we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, our planet names, etc. Um, I called my legend. I only had one value in my legend, and I'm going to say the days to orbit. Um, it's, uh, you know, that, that's what my green bars represent. And then over here, I have my y axis or vertical axis um, is labeled the number of days to orbit the sun. So these values here, um, they represent the number of days, and we can actually change these values on the side to not show the tenths. Um, but for right now, uh, this this works. So we can actually compare uh, the orbit time of the planets in Earth days using a bar graph. Thanks for watching.